guiding me as I go. If I hear anything again, there's a rock. Okay, so first you need coconut oil. I got this some organic coconut oil from Walmart. You need olive oil right here. See, there's so much stuff I don't even know where any of it is right now. And then you need another oil. Bubbly and you won't even be able to see me. I'll be like top and it'll be a big little bubble. That's what I'm gonna use, but that's where you can shea oil, uh, jojoba oil. I guess that's how you pronounce it. You know, so you kind of get a flavor. You're also gonna need lime. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have some newspaper. I see I already got, forgot something else you're going to need. You're going to need a temperature thermometer that is steel. So make sure you have that. There is going to be some heating and such measuring cups. Um, when you do this, they don't want you to mix your lye in aluminum or copper or plastic because it can react with those metals. That's why I chose glass. I figured, hey, a glass quart jar should be good to mix in glass. Um, they also suggested doing silicone soap molds, so I picked these lovely bad boys up. Of course, remember my last video I did steel. Should have spent the money for silicone molds. Now, once you've got this going, got it as much as you can covered, okay, you guys? And, of course, you're going to need your oil. We're doing lemon. You're going to start with your pint. And this is in a gallon. Hang on, in a gallon. Is it? Quart, quart. <laughs> I was like, is it, guys? Jars, okay? And this is kind of intricate, so I read it, but you might see me do my notes a lot. So, you covered with Rick Art, you should use gloves. We're wild here. I'm hoping you don't see severe burns. If I dash out, I went to the yard. ER. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, now, I'm going to go in the pint, and I'm going to do my oils first. My directions say lie, but I kind of want to do the oils first. So, in the pint, you're going to put the three three oils you have. So the coconut oil is going to be a two-thirds cup. Sucks getting old. Never get never get old, young people, okay? So I have a third, but not a two-thirds. So we're just going to go with this one, and we're going to do it twice, right? <clears throat> so we need two-thirds of your olive, okay? And two-thirds of your coconut. Now, the olive oil is what's going to help your soap stay kind of its shape, okay? And the coconut, like I said before, is the one that really helps the lather. Now, I looked at a couple of soap recipes, and if you fill your first batch, I guess that that can happen. Um, the people that I watched on YouTube that were soap makers said it still happens to them. So we're going to hope it doesn't happen to us, okay? 
because I've never tried it before. And it does take a while, so we're going to do the steps, but the actual curing process takes four weeks. So, unfortunately, you won't get to see the finished batch. I'm hoping maybe I'll pop it up in one of my DIYs and go, hey, remember that soap batch we did? You know, here's the final product. But I'm going to get you all the way to the point where you wouldn't have to worry. You can do it yourself, and everything's good. So we've done our coconut, right? And we've done our olive. And then um, I think I'm going to go grape seed. I was going to do more coconut, but I bought grape seed. It's one of the suggested ones in this recipe that you could try. So I was like, what the heck? This is really good, especially, and we've suggested it for people that really don't like the feel of a coconut oil. Or that just it doesn't react well you know so when you combine your oils you can do something that feels a little better okay move these out of the way <sighs> magic no you're gonna have to do lie I'm I would suggest washing it, but you know, who cares? Okay. This is where we do the water and the lye, okay? Now, I said that you want to be a little ways back from it because you will have fumes that come at you. That should dissipate, and it's after that is fine, okay? So first, we're going to do the water, and you're going to need three-fourths of a cup of water. And of course, I don't have three-fourths either, so we're going to have to do three of these. So hopefully that doesn't screw up my proportions right, guys. So remember, two-thirds of three your oils in there, and then three-fourths of water to react with your lye, okay? So, that's two. We're going on three here. So, there's your water. Okay. So, you've got water. We've got that. Okay. Now, we're going to do your line. And of course they said in the directions have a spoon ready, and I did not have that. Okay, so again we're going nuts, so let's hope this works, guys. Okay, and I didn't have any steel, so it doesn't say that you really need this to be or your mashing cup to be plastic or to be steel, just a bowl. So again, we're going to see if, Careful. if it burns through, that's bad. All right. Okay. This is your lie. And it says to slowly pour the line of water stirring as I go. So here we go. So it's just to stir slowly. So we're stirring. So far, I have not died. Okay, you know, I can't see him. But I can smell it. So there is, so you can't see it. I, I think we're doing well. Yeah. <coughs> I can smell it. Oh, wow, you guys. And I can feel the heat coming off it, too. So, yeah. 
And it says to keep stirring until the water starts to clear. So we're just gonna kind of stir. And then unfortunately you're in an office. So I have to go heat your coconut oil up for one minute. So I shall be back and I will get that done for you. Okay, so I will see you in a few minutes. Bye. Hi guys, I'm back. I have sat here and I had to go and you take your three oils in your pint and you go to the microwave and for mine I did a minute but I actually made it too hot so go 45. Okay, because when you mix these they have to be at a certain temp or they're going to ruin, your soap's not going to be good, okay? So, you want your lye to cool between 95 and 105, and you want this to cool between 95 degrees and 105 before you can mix it. If it's too low, low it's going to become really crumbly. So, this is where your thermometer comes in. So, right now, I'm going to check. I don't really want to mix my lies, so I've been playing around with my my coconut oil here. And it's still pretty warm. So we're just kind of waiting. Um, and believe it or not, that reaction the lie is between 160 right now. So that really does have a reaction. I can tell you some stuff hopefully will cool down while we're doing that. So some of the things is that um, we've talked about the reaction. When you're stirring, it says you use dry or foam plastic. I don't understand that or silicone. Okay. When you're doing your oil, which is going to be our lemon. You want 15 to 20 drops in the size batch that we're doing now, okay? And about a fourth a cup of dried herbs. Let's say you want to put some lavender in there. That would be a great thing. Um, Roman chamomile is one they suggested. And it takes about four weeks for your soap to get hard and be usable because the crazy thing is that even though we'll be done with the mixing, the chemical reaction still keeps going and that chemical reaction literally makes the lye disappear so that when you literally use your soap, there won't be any lye in it. So there's no, no chance of being burned, but you must cure it for four weeks um, before you even try to use it and you have to flip it. So if you're using a drying rack, you won't have to flip. If, but if you are using what we're going to do today, which is parchment paper, you would have to flip it once a week. And then four weeks is all done, ready to go. So we'll check our temp again. We're still at 100. We're still pretty warm. It's crazy. So... What else can I tell you while we're waiting on this? Um, some of the stuff that, like I always reiterate, I only use doTERRA oil. The reason I do that, A, they really give back. There are like two products that I bought where all the proceeds go to their, what's called Healing Hands, and that does so many things. It builds schools, it builds um, hospitals, um, in foreign countries and it it works here too it helps operation rescue which is something that helps aid um, in sex trafficking operations not to start that but to literally make to get you know the sex traffickers busted or to uh, try to bust a house so they can get the girls 
and the guys out because believe it or not there are guys that get sex traffic too so and they they also give donations um off their just regular business and one thing i really love which i would really like to do and if this channel goes the way i want it they'll also take ideas for deterrent wellness advocates and they'll match so if it takes off i would really like to get into that and maybe do some charity stuff and stream i don't know what i do but that would be a really cool idea so when i order my oils i know that i'm helping somebody out i I know for a fact. I mean, there's some great ones. They have a, it's not really a factory, but it's a commune where they take some of the victims of sex trafficking and they have them work on these dryer balls and then they sell the dryer balls. And they pay the women for the work and they're in a working in a team or with employees that went through what they went through. So that's a really neat one. I got to see the, the balls. They were really kind of cool. Um, we're still kind of hot. I'm still letting it play. I think this is the hardest thing right here is letting this stuff cool. So you, cause they said it's really a big deal. Um, Again, the other thing is that I really like um, and why I buy doTERRA is that the the oils are made to be a therapeutic grade. So the majority of them you can take internally, whereas in other oils you can't. And it's because they're so pure. When I go here, there's no no things that are or fillers put in it to make that bottle look bigger than it is. It is a lemon oil. You know, or it is spearmint oil. And it's tested several times of independent, by independent testing. In fact, I went to do, did to a convention and they literally put on a gentleman that there's a center for natural product research at Min Mississippi University. We, he did a great half an hour lecture for us to an hour and that was really great um so i know i get them i'm getting what i pay for so i can use them in several different ways that's the other reason i'm really kind of a doTERRA fan and um literally the people that the big executives that actually headed it um, were from the ke competitive company, and I cannot remember the name. It's a living something, living every day or living. And they decided they were going to start their own company. And uh, they actually incorporate some of NATO's goals, um, like destroying poverty and community, into their business plan. And also, nothing is not sustainable. If they cannot get it without, with, without harming the environment, then it doesn't come out. Um, for example, they wanted to give an oil this year at a convention out, and they could not do it because it wasn't sustainable. There was no way to do it without hurting the environment. What they produce is what they can produce. So the sustain the guy in charge of the sustainability aspect of doTERRA actually sat here and said no, which I thought was a really great thing. So I know my oils are pretty good. And I think I've kind of talked your ear off. So I really don't want you guys to have to, to sit here and kind of watch me go back and forth. So I think what I'm gonna do is in the video and then I'll splice it together with the magic of technology when these things cool. But the good news is we're literally almost done with this. The process will be to make sure these are tempted and mixed to, together. And once they are, um, you have to stir by hand 
for five minutes. And you really need to do this because you want the lye to mix with the soap mixture so that that soapification process, which I was talking about, the chemical reaction starts to occur. And you're going to see it kind of become really thick and it's going to look like vanilla pudding. And that is when we're going to add our oil. And then we pour it into the, to the molds. We're going to cover it with plastic wrap. And then we're going to put a towel over that. And then in 12 to 24, or actually it's after is 24, excuse me, we're going to check it. And if it's still warm or soft, then we have to go another 12 to 24 hours because we want to make sure it's cold and firm. And that's when we'll throw it on parchment. When we get to the point where it's wrapped, that's where I'm going to stop the video. Because from then on, it's a pretty simple. I'll show you how you lay out your parchment. And then it just pops out the molds you have. And it stays on your parchment. And you just flip it. And uh, when you're done with that, you're good. Now... One of the things they suggested for a drying rack is to take an old potato rack slide and then you take the cardboard fabric bolts like from a fabric store, you know, and uh, put them through the rings. And then after after it's done, then, then it's after four weeks, you want to keep it in wax paper or you want to keep it in an airtight container. Because um, handmade soap makes its own glycerin so it pulls moisture from the air so if you want to keep it from attracting dust and debris with that moisture happening you really need to keep it wrapped um but hey you're getting a great deal for that you're getting you know a soap you know that's natural and you don't have to worry about it you know, there's no chemicals that are going to be in there. So, you know, what else can you do? Yeah, we're still waiting on this temp, and I don't want to do it too soon. So, we're just going to kind of try one more time, and if it's not where I want it, then we're just going to cut off. And we'll come back when it's done. Yeah, it's still being kind of silly and still pretty warm. See, they they said it would not take this long. So we'll cut out. I'm going to see you in a little bit. Catch you toodles. I'm looking for my little cut thing. You guys are going to see me come around. <laughs>